a song recorded by three times Grammy Award winner Dr. Shirley Caesar says, what are you are going to do when you can't do no more? Mm -hmm. Or another way, what are you going to do when the world's on fire? All right. Which is all encompassing of what we say where we go, mm -hmm. and what we do. Amen, somebody. And God gave me that just minutes before I left out of my house because I was still wrestling with something in my mind. Mm -hmm. What you gonna do? What you, what I'm going to do mm -hmm. when the world's on fire? And she answered that. Stand still. Stand still. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to leave that right there because I'm coming back to that. Stand still. The subject for today is the I am availability. The I am. It's on the screen. The availability. Yeah. And if we take that word, that the little piece that's ready in the middle, I am. Look back or be recalled or reminded of God saying to Moses, I am that I am. That says a lot right there. Mm -hmm. And this is a question you can ask yourself. Is the I am available to me? Mm -hmm. Because you need to know that. Mm -hmm. Amen. I need to know that. Mm -hmm. Availability is freedom to do something. Availability is to help someone that is in need. Amen. Doctors can avail themselves to help someone who is sick if they are available. Yes. Educators can avail themselves to benefit someone seeking higher academic goals. Leaders can avail themselves to someone who is searching for the American dream or their dreams. Isn't that right? Mm -hmm. And politicians can avail themselves to someone who is trying to succeed politically. But will they? That's the question at this point. But will they? Authoritative abdication has exists in our society. When, exists within our society when those who are in charge avoid their responsibility. Mm -hmm. On the one hand, leaders, doctors, educators, and politicians has avoided on elected to help just to name a few. On the other hand, followers has abdicated, abdicate their responsibilities when they are not available to exercise God's given talents. Mm -hmm. Whenever that is the case, both followers and authorities are not available. Amen. When God 
in the text, hide his face from his beloved people. He was not available. But he was still God. Yes. Amen. Yes. When God abandoned them more than one time in the wilderness on the way to the promised land, God was not available to Israel. Mm-hmm. And when God does not avail himself to us. Yes. We need to check ourselves. All right. All right. Especially when we need him the most. Mm-hmm. We need to check ourselves. Mm-hmm. Because he's doing it for a reason. Mm-hmm. And the reason he abandons and hides his face from us is because of our sinful nature. Amen, Amen. Amen lights. Amen. All right, man. Yes. Some, not all, are only to exercise their gifts selflessly, but some are not available, but not all not available. Mm -hmm. The origin of the word available comes from the Latin word valera, valere, V-A-L-E-R-E, which means to be strong or to be valuable. Availability also is defined as to use or to obtain something. Still available is defined as vacant or unoccupied. And furthermore, available is defined as on something on sale or unsold. The low average wage earner must wait until the merchandise or commodities go on sale or or, are not sold to obtain what they desire for themselves and their families. Mm -hmm. That is if you're low wage on it. Hello. Now those who have money can just go get it whenever they feel like it. Those who want better places to live must put their names on waiting lists for future and vacancies and unoccupied real estate and rental properties when they are available. Are y'all with me? Not only desiring better living places and obtaining better merchandises must be available, but also better political representation, education, opportunities, just to name a few, are as important like our health care treatment have to be, it should be, must be available for everyone. Most whites and too many blacks authorities and professional advocated their responsibility. What saddens me today is that it is still happening on a larger scale. Mm-hmm. Why? Because of their own prejudices and biases. Moreover, they are not seen as valorant. Rather, they are seen as weak and valueless because they are unavailable. Mm -hmm. In other words, they are, they shirk their responsibilities. So come with me while we explore the symbolic description of availability. The text, this text is taken from 
the New Revised Standard Version of today's scripture. Isaiah 54, chapter and verses 4 through 10. That says, do not fear, for you will not be ashamed. Do not be discouraged, for you will not suffer disgrace. For you will forget the shame of your youth and the disgrace of your womanhood. Yes. You will remember no more. The Lord is beginning to show up. Only let your shameful behavior be a stepping stone upward as you reach for a better self. As you reach for a better self in Christ Jesus. For your maker is your husband, the Lord of hosts is his name. The Holy One of Israel is your redeemer, the God of the whole earth. He is called. For the Lord has called you like a wife forsaken and grieved in spirit. Like the wife of a man's youth when she is cast off, says our God your God mm -hmm. for a moment I abandon you but with great compassion I will gather you you know a flowing wrath for a moment I hide my face from you hello but with everlasting love I will have compassion on you yes. says the Lord your redeemer. <clears throat> this is like the days of Noah to me, just as I sworn that the waters of Noah would never again go over the earth. So I have sworn that I will not so do so. Yes. I will not be angry with you and will not rebuke you. For the mountains may depart and the hills may be removed, and my covenant of peace shall not be removed, says the Lord, mm -hmm. who has compassion on you. Yes. That's what the text says. That's what this version of the text says. Amen. Reality, in reality, some Bible, biblical shirkers are Ahab. Judas is carried. And the Israelite nation. Mm -hmm. A shirk of voice or neglects responsibility. Yes. Soon after the Israelite nation deliverance, they slowly started shirking their responsibility by abdicating their responsibility. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Both the leaders and the followers of the 12 tribes shirk their oath that was established by Joshua and them said. He commanded them only to only worship and to serve the God of their deliverance. Yes. Do not worship and serve the gods of your forefathers or the Canaanite gods. Mm -hmm. But Joshua said it explicitly and clearly when he exalted the Israelite nation with his own personal testimony. Mm -hmm. When he says, as for me and my house. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. But as for me and my household, we will worship and do what? Serve the Lord. Amen. 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 And that's a real good thing. We will do this. But soon afterwards, they forgotten, forsaken, and abandoned the Ten Commandments. They rejected the Lord when he reminded them of his sovereignty. They forsook the Lord when they built an idle golden calf. And they forgot the Lord who delivered them from slavery. The Israelite nation shirked from their responsibility. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. What about you? What about you? Amen. What about us? Judas is carried a disciple of Jesus, abdicated his responsibility when he betrayed the Lord. He did it with a kiss. He betrayed the Lord when he sold him for 30 pieces of silver. Judas struck his responsibility. Ahab, a devoted king of God, and the Israelite nation abdicated his authority or his responsibility when he married Jezebel. Mm, my, my, my. Oh, Jezebel was something else. From the way this biblical story is written, I believe she fooled Ahab into marrying her. Yes. Jezebel's motivation was not genuine love, but her status as a king over a nation and what all comes with that such as the trimmings. She even took what was not hers. <laughs> Ahab married to Jezebel over time weakened and rendered him valueless. Yes. Ahab slowly started to abdicate his authority to guess who Jezebel. <laughs> Jezebel All right. organized and directed a conspiracy to take Naboth's vineyard in uh, the name of her husband, Ahab. Yes. In other words, she falsified a letter to Ahab, in Ahab's name to take Naboth's vineyard. Furthermore, Jezebel successfully introduced, uh, uh, introduced and substituted an eye of God in the place of the Lord God who delivered the Israelite nation from slavery in Egypt. Sometimes church, the more the Lord do for us, well, we tend to forget more. Mm -hmm. Y'all hear me? Yes. Sometimes what the Lord uh, do for us, we for soon forget it. Yes. We forsake him. We turn our backs on it. We abandon him. Mm -hmm. But unlike, unlike God, his abandonment, his forsaken, and, 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 and leaving his people for, was for a moment. And I believe in my heart it, that moment was a time for them to think about their behavior, their previous behaviors in all their endeavors from Egypt to Canaan land. Amen, somebody. Amen. Ahab shirk, shirk, abdicate, abdication of his responsibility to almost allow the Israelite nation to be taken over by Jezebel. Judas' shirk, abdication, uh, abdicated his discipleship responsibilities that almost cost or cost him eternal life. Mm -hmm. And the Israelite nation shirked abdication of their responsibilities in the wilderness. They experienced hardship and ultimate abandonment by the Lord God. The Israelite nation was not available when they were needed the most. Are we? Judas Iscariot was not available when Jesus was in a crucial situation fighting for his human life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Ahab was certainly not available to take a stand and be strong and valuable during his reign. In Ahab and Judas Iscariot, youthful or earlier lives, they brought shame and disgrace mm -hmm. upon the Lord God. Mm -hmm. yes. 
Ahab should have known better because he served the Lord God faithfully until he disobeyed the Lord God and married Jezebel, which was forbidden. Judas's carrier brought shame and disgrace upon the Lord God's son, Jesus, when he betrayed him with a kiss for the love of money and trying to serve the Lord God and mammal. Yes. Judas Iscariot and Ahab were not available, brothers and sisters. They both shirked their responsibility to the Lord God. Both were weak and not strong. Both were invaluable because they simply shirked their responsibilities. Do you think their behavior was the cause of the Lord God to abandon and hide his face from them? Of course it is or was. However, my brothers and sisters, your maker is your husband. Mm -hmm. Amen. The Lord of hosts is his name. The Holy One of Israel is your Redeemer. Mm -hmm. Isaiah 54 and 5. I am the Redeemer because I am that I am. Yes. All right. There are three aspects of availability. One, it is reliability. Two, it is maintainable ability. And three, it is service ability. Availability is crucial in these unstable times in our universe. Yes. The three types of availabilities are inherent, achieve, and operational. Amen. Mm -hmm. If that is the case, what do they look like? First, Inherent availability is something in a parent or ancestor. Mm -hmm. For example, she inherited her mother's strong-willed nature. Hello, y'all. And there are some strong-willed women in this world. Hello, y'all. Right. Hello, y'all. Each of us have inherited, including the men, a quality from their parent or their mothers. Are they uncles? Mm -hmm. Inherent availability is inheriting a quality from someone else, like a smile, like money, mm -hmm. or property. At our redemption, we inherit membership into the Lord's household of faith. Well. That is what inherent availability looks like. Mm -hmm. It is to become exactly like the Lord God. Amen. How does your faithfulness look mm -hmm. to God? Second, achieved availability is successfully contributing to the membership household of faith. I need to read that again. Second, achieve availability is successfully contributing to the membership household of faith. Yes. What does that look like? It looks like edifying the church through worship and service, specifically preaching of the gospel and the studying of God's word on a regular basis. Through these and other services, it is growth and development. Thus, we began to gradually take on more qualities that look like the Lord our God. All right. Achieve availability is not failure, but to succeed with efforts of desire and determination. The young tennis player, AKA affectionately known as Coco, succeeded, hello y'all, in achieving her first national invitational tennis title recently. Amen. Yes, that is exactly what achieving Availability looks like. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Hello, y'all. Uh -huh. Third, 
operational availability is not something or sometime or sometime it thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but we must be ready to use and be available to God to be used by him mm -hmm. to help someone else yeah, yeah, yeah. or to benefit somebody else. To lift up our brothers and sisters yeah. who are lost. Mm -hmm. To help someone who is going the wrong way. Yeah. Yeah. Someone who has been forsaken by family and friends. Mm -hmm. yeah. Whenever they needed them the most. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, my sisters and brothers. If you haven't been forsaken, you will be forsaken. Amen. Or feel like you was forsaken. Yes. But I'm here to tell you, God has some bodies right. who will be ready mm -hmm. yes, yes. and be accessible mm -hmm. yes. to help in times of need. Yes, the scripture teaches us, offer us to be ye ready always and for everything. Mm -hmm. yes. If that's true, then it behooves us, brothers and sisters, to hurry up mm -hmm. and identify our gift or gifts. Yes. Develop our gift or gifts. Yes. And to be ready to use our gift, God-given gifts. Amen, someone. Amen. Uh, I know why y'all got quiet on me, but that's okay. Uh, my soul is on fire. If we, if we, you and I don't do that, then will we really be ready? Yes. Because the Lord Jesus Christ shown, shown us what that looks like. The Lord God readiness strengthened him. His readiness made him very valuable. Mm -hmm. Brothering, that is exactly what operational, hello, availability looks like. Mm -hmm. What if God didn't finish his journey All right. mm -hmm. on the cross Come on mm -hmm. in a man manifestation of his son Jesus. What if he didn't? Mm -hmm. I could not stand here honestly with integrity and say that. Yes. But he did. Mm -hmm. He showed us how to operate. Amen. And we need to identify, brothers and sisters, I keep saying it, because you can't really be effective and efficient and determined to accomplish your achievements and to please Almighty God. Mm -hmm. I, I, I didn't just not start singing that. Mm -hmm. When I realized that, I said, uh oh. Do I want a tree shade mechanic to work on my car? All right. Hello. <laughs> Do I want a substitute teacher who's not trained? Well, mm -hmm. Do you? Do you want that for your children? I don't think so. So the same way they went to school and learned not only how to operate, yes, right. but how to do the job mm -hmm. in a readiness fashion. Mm -hmm. well, yes. Hello, y'all. Yes, they went through a lot of work, y'all. Mm -hmm. They scrubbed their heads on the wall, burned the midnight lights, yes. mm -hmm. trying to reach their goals. In order to be, hello, y'all. My Lord, have your life been a beacon everywhere you've been? Ideally, it looks like reliability, maintainability, and serviceability. Are you sure that you are ready? Because the Lord, God wants a church without a spot or a wrinkle. Yeah, yeah. He wants our reliability. He wants our maintainability. And he definitely wants our serviceability. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we need to stop singing this song. I'll go. Mm -hmm. Hello. Mm -hmm. I'll go by myself. Yeah. need to stop. Because you're not ready. We need to stop saying I'll go on the mountaintop and be a beacon light because you're lying. 
your face and your attitude and your behavior is a lie. I can hear you talking, but I see what you're doing. Hello? Let me explain that if you don't understand that. A lot of people talk the talk, but they don't walk the walk. So I'm looking at their walk and not the talk. Hello, y'all. God wants someone who has service ability, willing to serve 24-7. Be ready to serve 24-7. And I'm so glad, I'm so glad when he called me, he shaped me, he fastened me, he lifted me, he encouraged me to keep on preaching the word. To keep on studying the word. To keep on being in attendance whenever my body allows me to be. God wants you to do likewise. He wants you to be ready. Ready. Not only to walk in Jerusalem just like John. He wants you to be ready before it's time. To enter into his heavenly host. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. So the relevant question. And I lost part of my sermon. But I know it. Mm -hmm. This text is a symbolic. It's a symbolism. Of the heaven of God's reality. Let me pause a moment and, and, and tell you what I mean by that and what it's saying. It's saying that this is an oracle. These verses. It's an oracle. It's an example of what heaven looks like. Jerusalem is symbolic of Sarah. Hello, y'all. A- amen. Because she was barren. Yes. Yes. Where you going? Remember Hannah? Mm-hmm. Baroness? Yes. Couldn't have any children? But the song is to remind them and us that although we might have been physically barren, not only of children, but of other things in life, yes, yes. that God mm-hmm. will show up. Yes. This context reminds us to, to sing, not just any song, All right. mm-hmm. but sing a relevant song. Yes. Sing a song that means something. A song that tells men and women everywhere our feet takes us. That God is still alive. And God wants our serviceability. But you're not ready if you don't know your gift. You're not ready if you haven't developed and are not developing your gift and brothers and sisters you are we are not ready to serve Amen. Amen. the God of our salvation yes. Yes. but when we get ready God is going to take care of us yes, he will. Yes, he will. when we get ready he won't hide his face but he'll be there leading the way. Mm-hmm. Hello? Mm-hmm. God would not shirk us, neglect us, mm-hmm. advocate us, yes. but he will use his authority yes, to benefit his children. Yes, yes. Hello, y'all? Yes. yes, he will. I know he will. Yes. He's did it for me. That's why I'm still standing. Yes. Mm-hmm. And like Shirley Caesar said in her song, what you gonna do when the world's on fire? Right. She answered with at the end says, stand still. Stand still, stand still when the world's on fire. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
when you don't know what to do, which way to go, and stand still. When you don't know what to say, wait on the Holy Spirit. Stand still and let the Lord use you and not you use him. Stand still. Are there anybody here planning to stand still? I do. I will. I will because I want heaven to be a reality for What about you? Yes. I know you want to hear the same words and the same welcome that I want to hear. Therefore, we've got to work hard. Yes. And we, when people see the reality in us during our serviceability, they see the God that called us. Not us, but they see the God that called us. And they will say something. There goes a soldier of the cross. Stand still. Stand still. Stand still. Let the world go by, but you don't go by. The world. Stand. I'm through.